Yo, this your boy Doze, and this the artist spotlight on Copy Shop Radio. Swart! Yo. And they trying to take my grandpa's great grandfather, Morgan Freeman, because he at least a thousand years old. They trying to say Morgan Freeman out here grabbing woman by the pussy. Hey, hey. Yeah, that's oh, that's not him. That's oh, oh, that's the president, President Trump. Yeah, yeah, we need well, why he not in jail? But, uh, we talking about Morgan Freeman. But what y'all not about to do is put him in the same category as these freaks and rapists in Hollywood like Harvey Weinstein and Kevin Spacey. Yeah, Morgan Freeman made some inappropriate comments to some girls and no woman should have to go through that. But y'all have to realize Morgan Freeman was born in 1734. He had to slide in DMs by fucking horse. But who's next? Y'all gonna try to get Oscar Proud from the Proud family? Is you gonna say Stevie Wonder was trying to look up your skirt? And if he did, he didn't see a thing. And you better not say a motherfucking thing about Denzel Washington because he is protected at all costs. And if he is guilty, this man deserves his day in court before we Bill Cosby is ass. Because some of you people don't even read the whole article before you try to say he guilty with your dumb ass. What's up, people? I'm James Andre Jefferson Jr. So let me get this straight, in the NFL you can rape, you can murder, you can drink and drive, you can sniff cocaine, you can beat your wife up and still play in the NFL, but if you protest police brutality, your ass will get punished? Shit, at this point the NFL gotta stand for niggas, fuck your lives. So they want y'all to shut up, take this mongoose piss steroid and get on the field and play, boy. And a lot of people say it's unpatriotic to peacefully protest during the national anthem. But I guess the patriotic thing to do is to take away their First Amendment rights. Literally the first one and everybody knows it. That's like me preaching about animal rights while eating a fucking burger. But now that y'all got that all figured out, let's talk about the suicides caused by CTE and the brain damage your sports cause to your players that you care about. But maybe you want that so they can't talk anymore. Shit, you can't protest if you got a concussion. The NFL where money is more important than human rights. Look, at this point, I'd rather watch professional chess or cricket before I watch slave ball again with your dumb ass. What's up, people? I'm James Andre Jefferson Jr. By now, we all know the youngest flexor on Instagram, Lil Tay. Well, I think she needs to be flexing in social studies in school or taking a damn nap and logging off Instagram before she fuck around and gotta flex in some sleeping bags on the street because she homeless. Now I know who created Lil Tay. The brother is Lil Tay's ghostwriter and tells her exactly how to act. He directs her. So essentially, you are pimping out your own nine-year-old sister. It's the same shit. You are forcing her to say shit so you can make money. And you even told her. You're gonna be like more ignorant. You have to be like, ooh, Lil Tay, Lil Tay. Oh, act more ignorant, huh? Well, I hope somebody act real ignorant when they see your ass, because this is child abuse. Shit, you are ruining your little sister all for some fucking likes, and she ain't going to be shit because you over here training her to be the ghetto Pikachu. And to be clear, she isn't acting black. You can't act like us. You either got it or you don't, boo. She's more acting like if Jackie Chan watched BT when he was growing up. So don't get it twisted with your dumb ass. What's up, people? I'm James Andre Jefferson Jr. <laughs> The movie Titanic, it pisses me off so much because this selfish ass white girl, she could have saved a lot of people. She had this big ass door and she laid out taking a nap on her by herself. You could fit a small Mexican family on that fucking door, but she let her boyfriend die. She didn't want to share. There's a boat. Now she's talking about there's a boat. You know the nigga dead. You know damn well this nigga dead because you been sitting in the water, cold ass Antarctica water for five fucking hours and you just laying there taking a nap daydreaming. Talk about coming back. Now, you should have said, come on, I, I, ain't no pussy in the world worth it. And then watch, watch, he done died for you. Look how quick she done let the hand go. She, I'll never let go. I, I'll never let go. And she, then this bitch immediately lets go. What kind of shit is that? How you gonna say I'll never let go, then let go? And then you're gonna be on another nigga's whistle. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> and this is exactly why. When I go on cruises, I don't mess with white women because they gonna leave you hanging like this. You gonna fuck around and be like Jack with your dumb ass. What's up, people? I'm James Andre Jefferson Jr. Oh, 
So there's this video of Tommy Lauren out in public and she gets a cup of water thrown at her and you might not agree with me or like what I'm saying, but I don't think that's fair. You shouldn't attack somebody with a cup of water just because their views. Like you have to understand there are people out there that would love some of that water and you wasted it because you're angry at somebody. So I would like to apologize on behalf of that girl and society to Tommy Lauren. Nobody should ever throw water at you. They should have drank the fucking water and threw it at your fucking head, okay? Cause Honestly, you just can't be going around talking all this shit and not expect nobody to want to throw some shit at you shit She should have had a bowl of steaming hot chicken noodle soup and threw it at your ass We gotta wait till we hear both sides of the story. What if that girl was trying to help Tommy? What if Tommy smelled like giraffe pussy and she just was trying to give her a shower? What if it was a damn baptism? We don't know what was going on, but don't throw water at her next time give her a cup of water Make sure it's from Flint, Michigan, though, and let's see what happens with your dumb ass. What's up, people? I'm James Andre Jefferson Jr. You know.